Hello YouTube! It's Dominoid here once again with another My Geek Box unboxing. I'm not going to give you any long laborious intro this week, I'm just going to go straight into it. So, July's My Geek Box. So this month we have got the theme of Nemesis. Uh, so I'm guessing that's going to be something to do with the Alton Towers ride that nobody died on, or possibly the uh, the 13th best of the Star Trek movies. And yes, I know there were only 12. It's a very heavy box this month. I don't know if you can see there, it is actually bulging out. It's bursting at the seams. So very much like one of my shirts, unfortunately. Slightly different way of doing it this month, and they delivered it in a plastic bag I've already taken off. But there's no sellotape, so I don't need the handy out of shop knife that I normally bring. So I'll stop waffling on, open it up, and let's have a look at what we have inside. Oh, we've got something very heavy. We've got a few very heavy things. Oh, ha, ha, ha. yeah. Okay, so as you know, I do like me. A nice cup of tea. You can't have a nice cup of tea without a nice mug. And this is a nice mug. Look at that. It is a ceramic Autobot mug. Let's crack this little fella out of the box and have a look at him. And this would explain why it was so heavy because this is a very hefty mug. Oh, it's an interesting shape. Look at that. It's kind of, it's got a flat end. So when you're finished with your cup of tea, you can sort of turn it upside down and it can be a little hidey hole for a mouse. But yeah, that's really, really nice. I like that a lot. Black, obviously everyone's favorite color. As always, it's made by Paladone. Pretty much these boxes are what are keeping Paladone in business. So they obviously love people like me who keep their subscriptions open and therefore keep them in selling of tat. Paint job is a little sketchy maybe on the front. There's a few little nicks in there, but quite frankly, when I'm drinking tea out of it, you'll never notice the difference. I think this might have to be the mug from which I drink tea in the next video. So I'll pop that to one side and have a quick look at the box in case there's anything interesting in it. Contents, one ceramic mug. That's it, not even a sad onion on the box. Right. Well, that's that. Okay, so, what have we got next? Oh, ho, ho. yeah, I like this. Oh, this is the 10th Doctor edition Davros. Uh, pretty sure that Davros was the same in all of them. But this actually, rather than the mug, I think, is where the bulk of the weight came. Uh, this isn't just a little plastic figurine. No, 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 ladies and gentlemen. This would appear to be possibly pewter. Um, ooh, it's packaged very well. We'll, um... Sellotape is the bane of my life in these things. Just talk amongst yourselves while, uh, while I do this. We'll probably jump cut to that. So it comes with... A vast quantity of sellotape, of course sellotape being my nemesis. Um, yeah, there we go. That is really, really nice. We've got very, very nice little felt bottom here. Is this a limited edition? It's numbered. It's actually numbered on the bottom. I don't know if this is limited edition or... Uh, that's just on the bottom of all of them, but it's really detailed. I'll show it up to the other camera here. As you can see, he's got a there's a lot of detailing on the the console in front of him here, and um, the little headpiece at the back. It's a really nicely done figurine. There's a great paint job on this. This is really nice. Really, really nice. That's fantastic. That is definitely going on the ornament shop. In fact, I'm going to pop him up there 
right there. He can go next to Batman here. That is a beautiful thing. So, yeah, really pleased with the first two items. It's a really good start this month. So, what have we got next? Let's have a look. We'll pop the T-shirt to one side and leave it to last because I always do. Uh, Terminator 2 Judgment Day card holder. It's a wallet with two pockets to hold all your cards. Unless you have three cards, then then you're kind of fucked. Or four cards. I mean, that's just being silly. Who has more than four cards, right? And just in case you were at a loss as to what kind of cards you might put in here, travel cards, debit cards, student cards, oyster cards, credit cards, lunch cards, cinema cards, and many others. And it's even it's got instructions on the back. Quite frankly, if you need instructions for a card wallet, then you don't deserve to have money in the first place to spend. What have we got next? Oh, to go with my mug, I've got a coaster to keep the to keep the side clean because I am quite clumsy. I do spill tea, but yeah, we've got uh, Azog the Defiler from The Hobbit. That's that's very very nice. The, the trouble with really nice coasters like this is I'll feel probably quite bad if I actually use it as a coaster because I'll be worried about staining it with tea. So. I might just leave it in this shrink wrap and hope nobody notices that it's uh, it's covered in plastic so then it's wiped clean. But yeah, that's a nice little addition. Here's a brand that I haven't seen in any of these boxes previously, not in any of mine or in any of the ones that I've seen other YouTubers unboxing. Uh, it's a Breaking Bad item. It's the Los Polos Hermanos logo on what I presume is just a standard notepad. Uh, it's yeah, it's a nice quality paper notepad. These are always good because I'm always having to make notes in meetings at work and This one does look like a nice quality professional notepad uh, It's a nice quality professional notepad that has been sponsored by Gus Fring's chicken shop So that's a really nice item. I really like that. That will be very very handy when the Mega Drive pad that I got a couple of months ago in the Z box runs out so the last item this month is the t-shirt, as always. Uh, and as is tradition, I have to open it up to the camera so that I am not the first to see it. So that is what I have. And now, let's have a look at it. Oh, what's this? It's It's got blood on it. Uh, oh, right. It's Project Nemesis Biological Warfare, Umbrella Corporation. Now, of course. Resident Evil 3, of course, was Nemesis, and I entirely forgot about that. But that was one of my favourites, uh, because Nemesis was a pretty pretty tough boss, so it, it was one of the hard games, but I'm pretty sure it was the third one, where you could play as a giant lump of tofu with one of the cheats. So, yeah, that was really good. It comes complete with two very fashionable bloodstains, uh, because all the cool kids have bloodstains on their shirt. This one here is from where I got scratched by a kitty cat. And um, this one here is where I had a bit of a nosebleed and just sort of sneezed on on my shirt. So, yeah, that's, that's really nice. It's very subtle. It's a, a very subtle shirt. It's not immediately obvious what it is. And that's quite nice in these type of shirts, I find, because it tends to then give that sort of almost unspoken bond of geekship between the people who get the shirt and the people who think you just spilt something on an ordinary grey t-shirt. And I do like grey because I'm boring. So yeah, brilliant. Really, really nice haul this month. I love this month. I absolutely adore my Davros figurine. It's so nice. That is a really quality piece of merchandise. Nice high quality notepad. Oyster card holder I chucked on the floor somewhere, but that's fine, it's just filler. And a really nice t-shirt, as always. So I'm very happy with the box. Of course, the problem with the box being good means that I don't get angry, and if I don't get angry, then the videos aren't actually quite as funny. 
But it's fine, I'll find something else to get angry at soon and we can all laugh at me popping a blood vessel. In the meantime though, if you would like to get your own geek box, I will leave a description in the link down there for you so you can click on that and subscribe yourselves. I thoroughly recommend it, you do get a good deal for your money and I've been pleased with pretty much all of them so far. If you enjoyed this video, then remember there is a lovely little thumbs up button down there that you can click on. There's a comment box into which you can type things. And there's a share button so you can share it with your friends on social media. If you're not already, then please do consider subscribing. And then you can be one of the first people to see new videos from me. And all that's left to say, as always, is thank you very much, YouTube, for your time. It's always appreciated. And I will see you soon. Cheers, YouTube.